Woman is in the hospital tonight after a shocking attack. Investigators say she was doused with gasoline and set on fire. Tonight, her alleged attacker is in custody. This is video just in of him arriving at the jail in Fort Lauderdale. CBS 4's Joan Murray has more on his arrest from Jackson Memorial Hospital. And I saw a flash out of the corner of my eye. That flash was Halen Hernandez Pages on fire. Monday morning, plantation police say when she arrived for work in her red Honda, her husband, Noel Garcia de Armas, was waiting for her. And there was an argument, and he poured a flammable liquid over her and set her on fire. At that moment, this nurse, John, was arriving for work at a clinic, saw Hernandez Pages burning, and ran towards her. I was screaming, stop, drop, and roll. You know, I directed her to the grass. She dove onto the grass and I rolled her around to extinguish the flames and uh, heard other people screaming, you know, hey, that was the guy. He beat her. He set her on fire. You know, it all, it all happened so fast. Darmus took off in his white pickup and police began a manhunt. Just before noon, Darmus called and told them he was in a parking lot at Knob Hill and Cleary Boulevard. I just looked, looked at the guy, I see him pouring out some stuff. Yeah, he was sitting in the driver's seat. He's like, it's weird. That stuff Diarmas was pouring was gasoline left over from the attack, police say. He even went to the trouble of putting a paper license tag over his real plate. She was in absolute shock. She was conscious. She was able to understand our questions, but she was in utter shock. Family members say Hernandez Pages is burned over 45% of her body, but she is expected to survive. John says he's glad he stepped in. It's hard to describe. I mean, you know, I just, I was in the situation. I, I hope that I did the best that I possibly could for this person. So DeArmas is in the Broward County Jail being held on a charge of attempted murder. In Miami, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.